Hello everyone, in this video I will show you how to integrate King Kong AIO Smart Controller to Home Assistant by ESP Home so that you can use many digital output and digital input and analog input and analog output. You can see here that is our King Kong AIO board. So that you can see so much GPIO you can use. Actually we can use uh, 32 channel output and you can see it here uh, 56 channel digital input and analog input and the analog output 16 channel okay let's look at our phone we have already uploaded and prepared the yaman file for you used by esp home you just download this file and here you can also see this ping define in our form you can see the aio every ping define have list at here but if you have this yaman file you just directly to use Okay, now the first thing you need to open your home assistant dashboard. Okay, let's look at our hardware firstly. And you can see it here, uh, this is King Kong AIO board, and this is King Kong Server 16. Uh, it's a Raspberry Pi 4 Linux system. I have already installed home assistant on it, because we need to download the firmware to ESP32. I need to use a USB cable, just a USB-C cable connect with this server, and this AIO board directly. And at this terminal, I have connect all V in together. So that uh, this have connected 12 volt. If you have used 24 volt, you can connect with your 24 uh, volt so power supply, no problem. Uh, this V in is different because if you want some channel, uh, for example, this channel for 24 volt, and this channel work for 12 volt load, so you can connect with different power supply directly. So in, in here, I have used this uh, smart cable. I have connected this V in just all together because I only use for 12 volts. And uh, this USB cable, you can see uh, this cable have connect with it. Uh, this is USB-C. And another side, uh, you need to connect with this uh, your server USB port, not your computer. It's your home assistant server USB port. And now let's power on. And you can see I can let power on of this AIO board. Uh, let's back to my home assistant dashboard. Okay, in your home assistant, if you have installed home assistant, firstly, you need to install ESP Home because our config file is for ESP Home. So you can go to setting and go to this add-on and you can see this add-on star and just input ESP Home and you will see this ESP Home options. Uh, this better and this is the development mode. We just install this one. So you can click and just very easy. Click install. So make sure your route help connect with the internet because if I install this ESP home that will out download the files from the internet or from the cloud server. So just wait for some minutes uh, that will be complete. And we can look at this AIO board and you can see uh, in this diagram I have connected this V in before. Uh, this red cable, this V in, uh, V in, V in, V in. So I have all connect with this power at 12 watt uh, so that the different channel output uh, can contain 12 watt load. Uh, if you want to use this uh, contain 24 watt load, uh, so that your power supply for this two terminal is 24 watt, it's, it's okay. Or maybe you have this sound channels for 24 watt and this sound channels for 12 watt so you just connect the different v in terminal with a different power supply okay let's back to my home assistant and wait for this esp home installation okay you can see this esp home is install complete i think you can enable this one uh, show inside the bar you can see i can enable it so that you can see the esp home on the left window so I can click start or we can running this add-on. We can click this logo and refresh and that will start. So we can back and click this ESP home and now you can see this dashboard 
and you can click new device and click continue and import the board name we can import AIO and the next and this you can choose your uh, chip we have made by ESP32 you can choose this one must choose this one okay and you can skip this step and now you can click this edit just edit this file because we have already prepared the YAML file so you can delete all and download this file just download this file I have already downloaded you just copy and paste just select all and copy and paste right here so you can see 1000 commands are very large but you just paste for one second and the first because we have used the DS18 20 template I have not connected and you can see at here the dashboard we have a one temperature sensor if you have connected you can leave your this code but now I, I'm not uh, use this temperature sensor I will disable it so if you want to use it you just use your own ad sensor address this is my sensor address not your sensor address you need to replace it but at this time I just comment it. I just comment this this command not needed to use okay I press save and press install and press this USB cable and press this cable and wait for some seconds so that will be comply and download to ESP32 okay now you can see this is complete and then you can close it and close this window and you can re-power on of this board you can see I can power off and power on again and wait for a moment if your internet begin work you will see this uh, yellow and the green LED is blink and this time you can remove this USB cable and not need to use it uh, just only use this AIO with network directly and also you will see at this one you can see the state is changed to online and we need to add to dashboard so you can see I can click this setting and click this device and servers and you will see that have auto discovered AIO so you can click config and click submit you can see successful and finish and now you can see this ESP home and you can see this AIO and you can see it here every digital output this means the light and this is LD that is analog output and this analog input and digital input all can use now and also you can add it to a dashboard uh, so you can create a new dashboard you can see setting and dashboard and you can create a new dashboard a new dashboard uh, for example AIO and create AIO we can click open and you will see at here that will AIO dashboard that is empty so we need to add your device to this AIO dashboard setting and the device and this ESP home and you can see this device and just click add to dashboard and we can choose that AIO we have created and click next add to dashboard and the sensor also we have click add to dashboard and set the AIO and click next and click add to dashboard and back to this AIO dashboard and you will see at here all entities have added to here that you can use now let's test it you can see the light one if I ready to turn on light one and pay attention to at here if I turn on light one and you will see uh, this LED is on so if I turn on all light so you can see I turn off and if I turn on all output you can see click and you can see that is turn on this is all of 
output because the PWM output, this dimmer also have set to zero time voltage that have output. And you can turn all off. Turn all off. And you will see that is all off. Okay, this is for output. Let's test with the input. You can see uh, this is digital input, uh, input 1, input 2. At here, we can shut with the ground. And let's open this dashboard. The sensor, and you will see the input. Uh, now it's off, off, off. So you can see, I can shut for this one. You can see the dashboard is become on. The channel one, input one is on. If I shut this one, you can see this input two. You can see the input two is on. So this also input, all input is working. Let's look at uh, this one. You can see it's a dimmer. So that will output zero to 10 volt. So we can ch change it. You can see this is channel one. Okay, let's look at this diagram. Uh, this analog output, you can see at here, this is the one channel one and this ground. We can test it. because I will use multimeter to test it. And you can see, uh, this is one. I will use the multimeter to test it. And you can see, uh, this is output channel one. This is channel one. This is channel one. And this is this is ground. So I will test these two points. Okay, that means analog input one. So you can see, if I use home assistant dashboard at here, and you can see, I change, change it. You can see my watch will change. So you can see, that have output 0 to 10 volt. Uh, this 100% uh, is 10 volt output. So you can see that will be change the voltage output. So this means now the home assistant is work with this dimmer and analog output. You can see at here also have some different analog input. So you can see at here, that is for analog input, uh, sound sensor for 0 to 5 volt and sound sensor for uh, 4 to 20 milliampere. So you just connect the signal to this part and the home assistant, you can configure it and will display the analog input signal. Okay, this is how to use ESP Home to configure the YAML file for AIO smart controller. I think this is easy to use in home assistant so that you can have so much different hardware resource and manage in home assistant. Okay, thanks for watching.